1976 will commence again. I will speak until I can no longer speak. I will speak as long as it takes until the alarm is sounded from coast to coast that our Constitution is important, that your rights to trial by jury are precious, that no American should be killed by a drone on American soil. We took an oath of office not to defend the rights of Republicans or Democrats or Libertarians or just those that just want to live here and just be left alone. We took an oath to defend our Constitution. So I really applaud you for what you're doing today. Do not give up on this, because I think the end is When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth a separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self evident The last nail is being driven into the coffin of the American Republic, yet Congress remains in total denial as our liberties are rapidly fading before our eyes. The process is propelled by unwarranted fear and ignorance as to the true meaning of liberty is driven by economic myths, fallacies, and irrational good intentions. The rule of law is constantly rejected, and authoritarian answers are offered as panacea. I will not answer any questions or testify about the subject matter of this committee's meeting. Like your health care plan. You'll be able to keep your health care plan. is not all happy. While we were on a Christmas break, the President of the United States of America violated his oath to uphold the Constitution by signing into law a statute that purports to give him the authority to use the military to arrest Americans on American soil and to confine those arrested to a jail in Cuba. See? You don't think I don't know you want to raise my property taxes and cut the Second Amendment and take my kids from me? And you say the state runs my kids on MSNBC? You don't think we're not going to fight you? are now on this continent to the astonishment of the world three millions of souls united in one cause